Welcome. I hope you're doing well and staying safe in this time. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can create your test automation strategy. My name is Julia Pottinger. I'm a lead QA at PolityWorks Consulting Group. You can find me on Twitter at iloge876. You can also find me on YouTube at Julia Pottinger. And you can follow my blog at juliapottinger.com. The objectives of this session is to define what a test automation strategy is and its importance, as well as walk you through how you can go about creating a test automation strategy. A test automation strategy is a plan that should be understood by everyone on your team. This plan defines the frameworks that you're going to use to get reusable automated scripts and how you're going to create those scripts and maintain them. You want to do this so that you can get a return on your investment. The time, resources, everything that you put into creating automated tests can be a lot. So you want to have a strategy to define what you're going to be automated, how you're going to go about automating it, who is going to be doing the automation, when are you going to be doing the automation, where are you going to be doing the automation, on what environments, are you going to be using developers, are you going to be using testers, what test cases are you going to be automating. All of this is in a test automation strategy and it helps to have a strategy so that you not only get a good return on your investment, but you get the benefits of automation, which are faster time to market because you're going to have confidence in your automated tests, so you won't spend as much time doing manual testing, doing certain regression tests. It also gives you more test coverage, gives you more reliable tests, all in a way that is repeatable. The first thing that you want to do is identify the why. Why are you doing test automation? This can be considered as the goal. Is it that you want to deliver quality software faster? Is it that you want your automated test to be done in the same sprint that your developers are creating features? And adding automated tests will reduce the time your testers spend doing manual regression therefore leaving them with more time to automate those new features in the sprint. Is your goal for test automation that you want to save time while maintaining quality? Are you maybe transitioning from waterfall to agile? Is it that you want to now have a continuous integration or continuous delivery system where once it is that your developer creates a build, it triggers tests that checks for certain features to ensure that they are not broken, to ensure that the quality of the application is still where you need it to be. Or is it that you are handling a lot of data and you want to handle that data in an automated way so that it is faster? Whatever the reason, you need to identify your goal. That goal is going to drive everything else. It's going to drive who you use to create your automated tests. It's going to drive where you run your automated test. Is it going to be in a CI CD? Is it going to be locally? It's going to drive what test cases you automate. You have now identified your goal for doing test automation. The next thing to consider is who is going to be writing the automated test, running the automated test, checking for failures, updated automated tests, writing regression, writing test scripts, all of that. The simple answer is that you need a dedicated team. Now, who you have on the team, whether it be a developer, a manual tester, or a test automation engineer, may be dependent on who you have in your organization. Regardless of that person, they need to be dedicated to test automation. Test automation takes a lot of time to be done properly, and to be done in a way that it provides a proper return on investment. You can train your developers to create automated tests. Your manual testers, if they have knowledge about object-oriented programming and the tools and frameworks that you want to use, they can also do automated tests. However, I would suggest that you use a test automation engineer that knows the tools and frameworks 
as well as knows the specific test cases and regression cases that you will want to have automated. You have the goal for test automation and you have who is going to be writing the automation. But what are you going to be automating? You want to identify the level that you're going to be writing tests. And we have a test pyramid where unit test forms the base of the pyramid, then you have service level, and then you have UI level. And developers are encouraged to write unit tests. These unit tests helps to validate small components and functionalities. The service layer has to do with APIs and databases. The service or integration level verifies how these pieces of code works together. It is a second level and therefore it would not be run as often as the unit level. The third level is the UI or end-to-end -end test. This ensures that the entire application works well together. This is what the user is going to be seeing and interacting with. You need to identify which of these levels you're going to be writing your tests in. Once you have done that, you need to identify what types of tests are you going to be running. Are you going to be running regression tests, smoke tests, performance tests, or those that are heavy with data? You may also consider those tests that you have to set up a lot of configurations for. So how are you going to run your automated tests? You need to find the tools that fit your specific project needs, whether it be a specific language, a specific framework, etc. This tool needs to fit your budget, your team, what it is you want to automate, as well as your project specifications. So if it is that you need CICD, you'll need to find a tool that works well with CICD. If it is that your team knows Java, you would want to select test automation frameworks for Java. If it is they know Ruby or JavaScript, if they're familiar with WebDriver IO versus Cypress, you need to consider all of those factors when choosing a test automation tool as well as consider your goal for automation. If your goal was to have CICD, you need to have that in there. The final thing that you need to consider is where and when are you going to be running your test. I strongly suggest that you have a dedicated test environment for running your automated tests. This is so that you can have the proper data and setup that you need to run your tests properly without interference. You also need to decide when you're going to be running your tests. Maybe you want to run it at a specific time of day and you may want to run it multiple times. So just remember, you cannot automate everything. You need to set the goal of your automation. You need to decide who is going to be automating as well as pick the tools that you want to use to create your automated tests. Thank you so much for watching. Let's stay in touch. You can follow me on Twitter at iluj876. Check out my YouTube video where I talk more about automated testing. And I hope that you now have the information you need to create a test automation strategy that will give you better test coverage, faster time to market, reliable and stable tests, and a good return on investment. Enjoy the rest of your day.